Transuranic waste is waste that has uh, a certain concentration of elements that are higher in the periodic table than uranium. Long live half-life waste, basically. It's low level, but transuranic is not high level waste, which would be the next step up. It stays radioactive longer, and so it's been deemed that it's not suitable for near surface disposal. So there is only one uh, facility in the United States which is permitted to dispose of this waste, and it's at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant in salt domes about 2,000 feet underground. We've had legacy true waste stored here for years. Uh, most of that resulted from either research that was being done at Oak Ridge National Laboratory or production missions, isotope production missions that the laboratory had, and some of those production missions are ongoing today. This is one of the main priorities for our program right now, both due to commitments we've got to the state, but also because this, this reduces the risk at Oak Ridge National Laboratory by getting this waste off-site and in a permanent, safe disposal location. Part of what we do at TWPC is separate the waste out and, and take out those items that may not be compliant or may not be transuranic waste. You have to remember a lot of this was stored originally as they cleaned buildings out once certain production and research missions at Oak Ridge National Laboratory were completed. So what this allows us to do is separate out just that transuranic waste, some of which is uh, very radioactive, and get that into safe storage uh, and permanent disposal out at WIP. It matters because the transuranic waste has been stored for years at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. It's time for us to start de-inventorying that and getting that into a final disposal place. The long-term goal here is to get all the legacy waste that's been stored for years shipped out and put in a safe repository for long-term storage uh, in the, really the final resting place of the waste and get that off-site so that you have little of that stored at Oak Ridge National Lab. Anymore.